Ladies and gentlemen, 75th anniversary city jerseys, they're out. I'm very excited to look at these. They're obviously all paying homage to every franchise's history. As the king of jerseys in the Northeast of the United States, I mean, I'm legally obligated. I, ha I, have, I have to, I have to talk about it. I haven't seen all of these. So this is a very quick initial first reaction. I might rank them later on. I'll see how I'm feeling, but let's hop straight into it. I think they got the West Conference and they got the East Conference down here. Yep. So without further ado, let's get it going with the West. The Mavericks, they kind of got a little play on what they did last year. Yeah, I, I never really loved the colorway, but I mean, I guess it's cool. Uh, let's see, Denver, ooh. I, I love the rainbow. I love the rainbow on the, the Nuggets jerseys. They never really should have gotten rid of them. I don't like the current uh, Nuggets jerseys at all. Um, so I would I would love if they did something like this permanently, but that looks beautiful. I like the, uh, the homage it's paying. Houston, that's heat. That's heat. I love it. I love it. If these are all just variants of throwbacks, which I think they are, I think it looks beautiful. That's that's fantastic. Golden State, I, I, I've seen this one. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I, I don't know if they need it black, though. I think this definitely could have done well in, like, white. Maybe even, maybe even blue. Um, but, I mean, this still looks pretty dope. I like the bolt on the side over here. Maybe could have done something off the We Believe. I love the Oakland jerseys from last year. Those were beautiful. Those are beautiful. I would have loved if they just brought them back. Yes. But I, I think they're bringing all elements into it together to combine it. So that's, that's definitely dope. Clippers. Ooh. Ooh. Might have to get me one of those. Wow. That's beautiful. Throwing it back to uh, the San Diego days. That is lovely. I love that. And it's got the old Clippers cursive on there. Oh. Mwah. I love it. I love it. I'm happy. It's beautiful. Lakers. Uh, ew, the. I don't know. It doesn't look like the blue on the shorts match the blue on top. And there's not as much blue where there's a ton of blue on the side. I mean, it's still cool, but. Yeah. It's okay. It's all right. Memphis. That's dope. That's a little throwback. I didn't really like the old Memphis jerseys, but this is cool. This is something like, you know what I mean? This is just throwing it back. Seeing John in this jersey is going to be dope. So, yeah, I like that. Give me some flashbacks to that grit and grind team. Wolves. I've seen this. That's heat. That's really, really dope. Really, really dope. I like those better than their normal jerseys. So, the beautiful. The, the blue on that is mm, mwah, lovely. All right, New Orleans, uh, Pelicans, yeah, clearly y'all don't have much history at all. Um, and it's not good history, uh, that coming from a Clippers fan. Um, so you've done less than us. Uh, that being said, uh, these are okay. These just kind of just look like a, a normal city jersey from any other year. It's not a, mo a lot of uh, homage to pay. Okay, see, same thing. They've been around for like 10 years. But this is clean. I like the all-white look, you know. Shay's going to look nice as hell in that. My brother's a OKC fan, so he'll probably want to get that jersey too. Uh, Suns running it back with the old jerseys from last year. Not mad at that at all. Those are beautiful jerseys. Um, and they had an iconic run in them. You can't get, you know, can't get upset with that. So that's beautiful. I like them so far. This is dope. This is dope. It's giving me Rasheed Wallace vibes. I don't know why, but it's really giving me a strong Rasheed Wallace vibe. That's beautiful that's taking a lot of errors and throwing them all together and that is wow beautiful 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 these are good so far i like this i like the king's jersey as you can see that's like early 2010s kind of cursive font on that <clears throat> the shorts are interesting they kind of got the halfway on there kind of like the way the jerseys were like 70 30 with the the colors so that's that's dope too i like that Spurs, oh, I'm so happy they're still doing this, bro. The Fiesta colors, are, oh, I'm happy. I'm very happy. That's a little out of place, though, just the straight black and white. Like, I know they've always had it, but when it's that colorful on the outside, you might as well go all in. Just full Fiesta. Come on now. Don't be shy. And Utah's running these back. Um, I think they had, I think they had that last year. Um, 
It's not the original city jerseys, but I think that might be the earned jersey from last year. I'm not 100% sure, but I mean, it's still nice. There's not really a whole lot um, you can do with Utah over there. Besides bringing back the old uh, mountain logo or jerseys, which those were dope. But yeah, overall, West Conference is dope. I, I don't really love Dallas. I like Denver. Houston is awesome. Golden State is awesome. Clippers is beautiful. Very happy. Lakers is a little iffy. Memphis is, you know, bland, but it's there. Minnesota, dope. New Orleans, not going to talk about you. OKC, nice. Suns, can't go wrong. Rip City, love it. Sacramento is dope. Spurs, beautiful. And Utah is just Utah. You know, can't get, can't get mad at it. All right. East Conference, let's go. Atlanta, beautiful. I love that so much. That's fantastic. You can see the different eras in it, too. Like, you could see, you know, the font from the Atlanta way back in the day, and they bring the, the spread across the jersey from, like, I think it's, like, mid-2000s or something like that. Beautiful. I love that. I love that. I wish it was somebody on Atlanta I'd really like to get that. I'm not going to get a trade jersey because I live too close to New York. Celtics, there's really only so many times that you can remix the same two colors. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, it's okay. It's passable. I like the current throwbacks that they have now better than this. Nets, beautiful. Shout out Jersey Nets, man. That's that's fantastic. I hope they, you know, it's a, cha it's a jersey that Blake Griffin can win a championship in, right? Right? Yeah, absolutely. Charlotte, I saw this yesterday. I didn't really know how to feel about it. I mean, it's cool, um, but I feel like there's too much mixing of it. Like, obviously, the this is a lot up here, and then you bring the stripes, and then you have the cursive, and then you have the current numbers. I feel like it's a little too much. Um, I'd have to see how it looks. It might look cooler because, obviously, that's towards the end, and it's kind of like a middle. Yeah, it'll, it'll look high. I got to see it. You know, when the guys play, I might have a different opinion. Chicago, that's a cool little throwback back to the 80s. Artist Gilmore days. That looks cool. I'm excited to see Caruso just ruin lives in that jersey. Uh, Cleveland, that looks like that looks like a gym, like a, a high school gymnasium. There's not much you could really say about the Cavs that's positive. Um, Detroit, that's cool. That's actually really cool. That's a nice little throwback. Um, obviously the bigger font from, you know, the, the glory days, bad boy days. Um, and I, I like this over here. That That's really dope. I like that a lot. Detroit with a good jersey. I can't remember the last time I liked the Pistons jersey. So salute for that. Pacers, they've done variants of that over the past few years. So this is kind of, you know, nothing new. It's cool. Reggie Miller. Um, Miami, I saw this months ago. I still don't like it. Again, it's, it's a case of taking obviously you want to incorporate all of your culture into one jersey but this is too much in the same way that which one was i looking at that was too much the way charlotte for me is too much i don't really like that so miami's the same way this i like a lot again on the sides is too much though because now you just got a million different colors going up back and forth if this was primarily purple i would have liked this a lot more um the knicks simple Blackout, I mean, I don't, the jersey will sell well. Uh, Knicks, by the way. Yo. The Knicks are nice. The Knicks are genuinely nice. All right, Magic, they're still going on with this, this orange shit. Um, it looks cool. You know, I'm not, I'm not mad at it. it is, it's nice. It's a nice little throwback, of course, to the best jerseys that the league has probably ever had. Um, but they, I want to, I want to see like the, the real throwbacks. I want to see the blues come back because they, they brought those back for a couple years and it was always beautiful. Sixers, Tobias Harris. Uh, I don't know why I just said his name. It's his number. That's, that's probably why. That's cool. It, it, that shit just looks like, uh, this is an old board game that looks just like that. I don't know which one it is, but it looks like an old board game, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, it looks cool. I'm not, yeah, I'm not mad at it. Very 70s. Toronto, oh, wow. They wow, they snapped on that. Wow. Wow. That's really nice. And you know what? This is the fake jersey they've been selling on DH Gate for like 15 years. It's only right that they make an actual jersey about it. You know, so shout out Fred Van Vliet. 
and the Wizards. I like that. Wow, that's beautiful. I love the jerseys this year. That's really nice. As a whole, I mean, there's some that are kind of mid, some I don't really care about, but that's on teams that I don't necessarily care about, like the Pistons, or like the Pistons, Cavaliers, uh, New Orleans without Zion, um, aside from Brandon Ingram. But this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Obviously, it's a throwback to, uh, it's like the mid-2000s uh, letters, or letters, numbers that they used to have. That looks nice. I love the, the color matchup over here. That's beautiful. I'm surprised they haven't done a jersey like that earlier. But, uh, yeah, let me just recap this. Atlanta, that might be one of my favorite ones. I'm not going to lie to you. That's really beautiful. I might rank these just because I really want to see which ones I like. Um, I'd have to see them, you know, when they're on you know, on the floor, on guys. Beautiful. Um, eh, Celtics, you know, there's only so much you can do. Nets is dope. Uh, Charlotte's doing a lot, but it might end up looking cool. Chicago's all right. Uh, no, uh, yeah, that's dope. That's dope. I'm excited to see Cade play in that. Pacers, we've seen that before. Miami, don't love. There's a lot going on there. Bucks, don't really love. Knicks, okay. Magic, all right. Sixers, I don't really care for. But Toronto, these last two, they went crazy. I like these. I like these. I think this is a good addition. I love the city jersey uh, concept of Nike. I like that they do something like this. Um, and it's all about money at the end of the day. So, you know, if you're making jerseys like this, pumping them out with some historical significance, it's perfect. All right, man. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, hope you guys enjoy the jerseys as well. Not that I care or has any, you know, semblance of importance to me, but hope you enjoyed and uh, I'll be seeing you soon.